Welcome back to the recovery channel guys today. Uh, this morning I got up pretty early about 3am and decided to reread this book. Absolutely brilliant. Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill. Uh, when I say we stand on the shoulders of giants, Napoleon Hill was a giant. Uh, I, I won't read the entire book out because it's so profound. You really need to get a copy yourself. Um, I'll wrap the book up in say six words you become what you think about now what people when i say you become what you think about people go oh you know it's a bit wishy-washy or it, it's not wishy-washy at all if if you can if you can control what you think about you become what you think about you become what you habitually do I'm not talking about following 10 different paths a short way, following one path, uh, following a thought through to its conclusion, following a path through to its conclusion. Um, this book will really help you. It, it, it says think and grow rich as in money, but it's, all, it's talking about rich in every facet of life. Um, I found this book in an old bookshop in Canterbury in Melbourne, my favorite bookshop and um, Absolutely brilliant book. When I say you become what you think about, I'm not talking about the impractical daydreamer. I'm talking about the person that gets up and raises dust. If your thoughts are... Let me, let me compare children's playrooms with toys strewn about everywhere, everything in chaos and disorder. That's the way kids and around one to three enjoy playing. That's how they play. That's, that's the environment they want to but be in. If I could use that as a, met as a metaphor, um, your thoughts, if they're flabby and insipid and you only follow them a short way, you will not think and grow rich. But if you, if you habitually follow a thought to its conclusion, you will think and grow rich. Um, I'm extremely interested in predictors of success. And this book is a giant. It's quite a small book, but in the field, it's a giant. You become what you habitually think about, Napoleon Hill.